Rob, and we're doing the news live from Cannes, and I'm here with Sean Corcoran, who's the CEO of the U.S. at Media Hub. Sean, thanks for being with us well, today. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Uh, super cool. So what have you done in Cannes so far? I walked here. <laughs> yes? How is it? Just landed from the U.S. this morning. So wow. wow. I, I was Where are you hot. Based? It was nice. It was hot. I'm in Boston. Boston. Yeah. Okay. I live in Boston. I think I, I'm based on Delta, probably. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably more. Nice, nice. Well, um, so we got some good weather. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Not, not too hot. Yeah, so far. Uh, we'll, we'll see. see. Yeah. Um, so we're in Cannes, yeah. and in Cannes, we talk about creativity mm -hmm. and media. So. Talk a little bit about how you think about when you're advising your teams, advising your clients about the, the, the combination of those two things, because sometimes they can be siloed. <laughs> sometimes, yeah. <laughs> uh, that happens. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, for us, we're very focused on creative and creativity in media. That's been a big focus of Media Hub for a long time. We're certainly you know, focused on the data tech side of things, the fundamentals of media, but creativity has been a big key aspect of us. And coming out of, recently coming out of a creative agency, you know, I think we recognize just how powerful their creative messages. And I think any research you look at, you're gonna see you know, the messages as powerful as anything when it comes to data, tech, media, audience, whatever it may be, those things are incredibly important. But at the end of the day, it's the message that we're trying to communicate. So for us, having that creativity is, is uh, very important. And you, the genesis is creative of, of Media Hub, right? Yeah, so coming out of the Mall Low Group, now part of Media Brands, um, our focus has always been working really closely with creatives. We really respect creatives. I think they're in an interesting moment right now where it's probably you know, a little bit of, of chaos there where I think uh, you know, the, me the media world has moved so far in advance just being so close to, I think, data and tech on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. The creative arms, I think, going to have to catch up to that. And that's going to be really powerful in the next couple of years as data and tech starts to infiltrate that world more and more. Yeah, yeah. And obviously, we have to talk a little bit about AI, sure. right? Yeah. Um, Overhyped, underhyped, right amount of hype? I give it right, right, the right amount of hype. Okay. I mean, it's an incredibly powerful, you know, probably next phase of computing, however you want to, whatever language you want to use, whatever powerful, you know, influential uh, consulting companies using these days. But I yeah. think that's true. And the reality is it's going to change the way that we make creative, deliver creative. I think when you look at the big platforms, whether it's like Meta is a great example. I mean, they're saying what 30, 40% of the content they're delivering is, is basically AI recommended. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna have to have the same kind of an engine behind uh, the advertising arm of the world and we're just not there yet. And but, get inside the minds of the creatives. Are they nervous, excited? I know a lot of creatives. I think there's probably both, mm -hmm. you know, depending on who you are, right? So I think there's, uh, it's an entirely new world. They work, uh, many of them, in a very specific way. Uh, and I think for all of us, it's about how do we, you know, we think about this all the time, how can we work better with a creative partner, uh, with, with the media? How can we help them understand the platforms, really the foundation of what they're doing on a daily basis, give them the palette, that's what we talk about, like what's the palette we can give them? But I think when we talk to them about, you know, are they nervous? Yeah, they're nervous. I mean, if you've used chat, BB, G, GPT or BARD or any of those things, um, you recognize really fast that they can do a lot of the things that you know, an individual can do. But at the same time, you know, I think there's a lot to be said for the human creativity side still. 2024, will there be an AI-driven category can line? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I'm surprised I didn't try to squeeze it in now, right? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Great. Uh, well, thank you. This yeah. was fun. Great. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Appreciate Everybody, it. thank you. That's the news. Thanks.